Welcome back to Streamline Entertainment. It's Marvin speaking. People, I did see the video. Wow. Uh, it does tell me a lot, I must admit, by Crime uh, 1111, True Crime 1111. She's absolutely brilliant. I do watch her content and I have uh, seen the video. She talks its sense, extremely intelligent, and she sees things that a lot of people don't. Um, I am on holiday, guys, so and ladies, so just bear with me because I, I have to catch up on what um, uh, people are saying to make my own assessment on things. Um, it's interesting, very, very, very interesting. Uh, I, I do think she made sense in what she was saying. I could really make out, uh, I, I did make out that there were um, people in the reflection of Jay's um, sunglasses, but I couldn't make out who they really were. And a lot of people would probably agree with me on that. Um, was it possibly Brad? Um, it is, I mean, it, it looked like the shape of his head, but I would like to see a little bit more. But I respect her for bringing it out because the, it, this makes this case a lot more of a setup uh, than what we actually first thought. Um, it's actually shocking that if Brad was involved in this, why would you do that to someone who you claim to be your friend? I think that also um, it just show um, how evil people can be and why did they go to so much trouble to cover their tracks? Was it more sinister and nasty what happened to Jay uh, that um, they had to, to have so many alibis and so many people who were involved in it that just shut it down? as just a missing person is absolutely incredible it really really is it's like i said looking at this there could be more than 20 people involved the people in the club friends of friends who knew jay or know what's happened to jay people out there do know the story sometimes i'll go through my messages and i'll see a message that will come up i think wow why did that person uh say blatantly uh what they've said in a way that they knew what was going on i do check out for messages but it, it it was brilliant from true crime i respect for what she done but i think the questions we have to ask is what date was this what time was this and you know because like to me what it seems like she's trying to say is is, is, is like i said they're, they're technically playing with people with a dead body and it's one of the sickest things I've uh, I've ever said this is why I said it it it, it it's more than evil. Uh, this is someone mentioned that um, um, it's a bit of a, um, a a trophy killing, a trophy murder, and I truly truly believe that. And this is why um, us channels uh, that come out here and talk about the Jay Slater case at once justice. So I'm going to say big big up. Uh, I would love to see what um, uh, what time this was of the morning i think i think if it was at the b and b uh this tells us that um he was there but uh like i said the more people have come forward the more proof we've got or the more videos that people have got um it will hopefully blow this case wide open and then we can still see we can find justice uh for jay so well done 1111 truly respect you for what you've done and in your pursuit to find justice for Jay Slater um, as well as, as the other YouTubers. We keep fighting, uh, we keep being strong and we keep putting content out there uh, because like I said, we don't want to see these people walk in the street when they should be absolutely locked, locked up. And what they're doing, they're trying to fool the public in brilliant ways in that we do, we're the stupid ones we don't know what's going on but things are slowly coming out and we're learning different things about this case every day so we're going to keep fighting for justice don't forget to subscribe to streamline uh, entertainment and the more information people have got who are there put it out there you know 
let's you know you know let's really fight um, to the end and something will come out don't forget to subscribe to stream entertainment and follow the channel thank you wherever you are in the world